Congrats, Manuel. You made it on a Wednesday. Man, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Appreciate the opportunity. Appreciate everything. This feels like a dream. You want to know why? Why? Because it is. For the last couple months, I've been trying to get onto a show called Wednesday. It's been the only thing I think about. I literally don't have a life at this point. And today, I have a call with someone that works at Netflix. And if this call goes well, this may be my ticket into the show. Hello? Hi, is this... Yeah? Just kind of been working on a YouTube series where I'm trying to get onto the show Wednesday. Do you have any advice how to go about it and stuff? Hmm. Okay, um, let me ask my opponent. I'm just a showrunner and, and the producer. You know, they're already in the business. Nice to meet you. It's interesting. I'm, I'm, uh, I'd love to help you guys. So, let's we'll touch base one day and we'll see what we can do. Yeah, man. Nice meeting you, brother. Same here. Does that work? Oh. We'll do. All right. Bye. I just feel like I'm getting closer. I feel like there's something there, man. We were only a few steps away from getting on to Wednesday. A few days would go by, and it was finally time to call or contact at Netflix. I had a call with this guy the other day, and it went really well. He just told me to follow up on Wednesday. It's Wednesday, and I'm gonna call him. All right, Jim didn't answer my call, which is kind of sad, but I will text him. We'll see what happens. If you know your party's extension, dial at any time. I'm calling this dude again. Please leave your message for the guy from Netflix is not answering. That was our only contact with Netflix. Yeah. With anyone related to Netflix. Ah, bro. I mean, I know one thing, sure. Like, you can't give up. Yeah, I mean, we went to Romania. I know, that's what I'm saying. I, I literally give you a week of my life. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we're not stopping. That's not an option. I just have to figure out why he's ghosting me. How are we gonna find out? Tonight, Hollywood is completely closed for business. Members of the Screen Actors Guild voted to go on strike today after failing to reach a deal with major studios. This strike drags on. Films could be delayed indefinitely, and all the new fall television shows will be on hold. The strike is essentially delaying the biggest TV shows and the biggest movies, but for how long? I had no idea why our contact at Netflix was ghosting us, but if I had to guess, it had something to do with the strike. Later on, I would manage to get in contact with someone that can get me onto Wednesday, but for now, I needed to investigate these strikes. I'm going to the strike tomorrow. Going to the strike is going to help me figure out two things. Number one, why are the strikes happening? And number two, could we still get onto Wednesday, or is all the work that we've put in worthless? And the dream of getting on to Wednesday is just that, a dream. Morning, hey, how are you? Checking in? Uh, yes, this awesome. is like our, our first time. We're not even actors or, or oh writers. Oh my gosh, yeah, thank yeah. you for being here. We appreciate your Of course, your of course. Let's join the link. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. We spent majority of the time walking around in a circle. I felt kind of stupid, if I'm being honest, but everyone else was doing it, so... I felt less stupid. But then eventually I got the opportunity to talk to some of the actors and writers behind the strike. Now the strike in itself is kind of complicated, but to give you a one word summary, they're not paying enough. The actors and writers are not getting paid enough. And to add to that, big studios like Netflix want to use AI to replace actors and writers, meaning all of their jobs are in jeopardy. This is some really serious stuff. So all the SAG after contracts are going to be on pause. Right now, yeah. Yeah. How long do you think it might take? Well, she, she just kind of said that the big projects like Wednesday are going to be put on pause until this strike is resolved. And I was obviously a bit upset because over the last couple of months, the only thing that's been on my mind is Wednesday. I have literally have had no life. I've just been thinking about trying to get onto the show, but I can't get onto a show if there's no show being filmed. But later on, I would get some really good news. But for now, I was pretty sad. I'm not trying to be like pessimistic, but you're done for. It's okay. <laughs> it's always a way. Not this time, dude. What? Look at Moses. You're comparing a prophet versus a regular dude? The strike was making it almost impossible for me to get onto Wednesday, but if there was anyone that could help me figure this out, it would be Jen Ortega's acting coach, Jonathan. Jonathan and I have become friends over the last couple months, and he has always been a big help in making me believe that getting onto Wednesday is possible. Like, I don't know what's going on in Hollywood right now. You know, do you think it's gonna pass relatively soon? And is it worth pursuing Wednesday as this is going on? So no one knows how long it's gonna go on. As far as pursuing the Wednesday still, it probably isn't gonna yield you much with the strike because everything's just, you know? Yeah. One thing is for sure, I can't quit. 
My brothers don't have internet right now in Cuba, so they can't watch it technically. So send them a DVD. When this is all said and done, I'll send them a DVD. It's me getting onto the show. That'd be fucking cool. Yeah. Stay in touch. Make it happen, man. When I get in the show, my first request, even as an extra, is gonna be, I want Jonathan as my acting coach. They, they would okay. say no. No, no, no. If, I say, if they say no, I'm like, hey, I'm leaving. Don't do that. <laughs> it's always good talking to Jonathan. He always kind of knows what to say. But this time he didn't. No one has an answer for the strike. It's really bad. And the only clear thing that I've got is to put a hold to this entire thing. To stop. And that's the logical thing. I'm just going to call it quits. Just kidding. I'm not. <laughs> But yeah, things are really bad. Hollywood is under fire and the actors and writers are just not getting paid fairly and their jobs are on the line. And it's important for me to go out there and support them. Getting ready to go again. So once I'm done with that, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna research the crew, the people who are responsible for making the show happen. I'm talking about the people who are responsible for lighting, sound, cinematography, whatever that means. And I'm gonna DM them, email them, call them if I can find their phone number. There's 80 crew members that I have found that are responsible for Wednesday. I'm gonna try to contact them. My hopes are that I get in touch with someone that can potentially get me onto the show. Not now, not during the strike, but later. This strike will come to an end eventually. And when it does, I would love the opportunity to even just audition for the show. My heart's about to fucking drop. One of the people that I just DM'd, she responded. Months of my life have been dedicated to this and I just, I'm so fucking scared if they hate me. They're just like, hey man, just off yeah what the fuck am i supposed to do go to breaking bad the show's over yeah i'm really scared she sent me two voice messages hi man nice to meet you so i'm an actress too uh i know the process very well i worked as a crew there's no way i can give you a part i'm only crew the only way to get cast is through the casting director focus your all your attention on that nice to meet you again uh -huh. She was very sweet. Oh man, okay, that's a lot better than I expected. I think it's time for me to hit up the casting people. And after doing some research, it turns out that there were three casting directors. Two of them, I found their emails, but the third one, I couldn't find any contact information besides a business address. But before going, I wanted to ask my friends if this was a good idea. Bro, you look like shit, man. Yeah, you woke me up for this. It's I... almost noon, man. <laughs> <laughs> Should I just go to the address? Isn't it like showing up to someone's house? I mean, this is not their house. This is like maybe their office. I don't know, man. That's that's where it's like Actually, almost right. crossing the line. I feel like yeah. Wednesday. I'm trying to be on Wednesday. That's not. That's not what they sound you. like. It was clear to me now that going to the casting director's office was crossing the line. So I decided to make a video resume instead. Let's go. I want to film the uh, video resume that I'm going to send to all the casting directors and my hope is that they somehow get this in their email box and be like, hey, let's hire this kid. He looks desperate. But if there's anything that could work, it's this. My name is Manuel Bosa and this is why I should be on season two of Wednesday. All right, guys, I am editing the video resumes that I shot this morning. I'm pretty tired, but thankfully I have something that's going to give me a little bit of energy. Pure joy. Today's video sponsor. The all natural plant-based energy drink. It's organic, vegan, non-GMO, no sugar added, this thing's phenomenal. And it's gonna help me edit these videos and send it out to the casting directors. Hopefully, these casting people get back to me. <laughs> I'm filled with joy. Get it? I'm so sorry. It's been a couple days now. I sent my video resume to two out of the three casting directors and they have not responded. That being said, I'm outside of one of the casting directors' office right now. And I, I'm not sure if this is a good move or not. It's I'm, not. It's literally not a good move. It could go two ways. I could go in there and he could absolutely hate me and never want to see me again. Or he might be open to the idea. <sighs> I'm really hoping that this is the end, man. Hi. That was pretty interesting. Really? Why? Where do I begin? I thought this was gonna be the end, but what I'm starting to realize is that this is just the beginning. <laughs>